So guys, for the first method, you want to make sure that you download downloading Bluestacks from the actual legit website. So I'm going to leave a link to it down below in the description for the legit Bluestacks website. Once you're on this, you want to click on download, and then you just want to install it to your computer. For the second method, you want to head over to search and then type in storage settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to make sure they have enough storage. If you don't, then you can just head over to install the apps, and then you can remove the apps that are taking up too much storage. To do that, you just want to click on the three dots, then click on uninstall. Now once you do that, we're going to head over to search again and type in storage settings. Click on it. Now we're going to click on temporary files. And now you want to tick everything and then click on remove files. For the third method, you want to head over to search and then type in check for updates. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates and do all the updates that your computer may have. If that's still not working for the next method, we're going to head over to search and then type in file explorer. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on this PC. Then we're going to click on our C drive. Then we're going to scroll down and click on program files. Now we're going to click on bluestacks underscore nxt. And then you want to find the hd-player.exe file. You want to right click on it and then click on properties. And then click on the compatibility tab. And then you want to tick run this program in compatibility mode. Disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator. And then click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and then type in cmd. Then you want to run it as an administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, we're going to type in sfc space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Once the scan has been completed, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.